Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm on as today I will review the second studio album by the stoner rock band F Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu, I don't know how you say their name, I'm going for Fu Manchu. We'll show your ass front. And actually this record isn't ass. I'm not sure if you saw that, but holy shit, I'll be damned. Um, but that's a special surprise for probably the only guy that's gonna watch this, so uh, have fun with that visual aesthetic right there. So, yeah, Daredevil by Fu Manchu. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, came out in 1995, it was, um, it, or it was, it, it is 43 minutes. They actually released this in the new year, January 1st, 1995. So this is arguably the first record released in that year, which is, you know, and not necessarily, you know, a great thing to have your, you know, to have your album out the earliest. What matters is, of course, is that it's a good album, you know, it, as long as the album is the best, that matters to me. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's out the first. I've never seen someone make that uh, debate, but, you know, could be. But, yeah, there you go. I, I don't know where I was going with that. So... Stoner Rock Band, um, it has 11 tracks, I'm not really going to talk about any specific track, honestly, I'm just going to kind of talk about it a bit and then end it because um, I'm kind of short for time with all of these reviews. All Music have two and a half stars, which I think is pretty unfair if you actually listen to this album. The one criticism I will make is that this album is really one note and really derivative, so yeah, if you know the stoner rock sound, you, you kind of get an idea of how this uh, album will sound, then you're not really going to be surprised with anything. If you like a lot of like surprise or like a lot of curveballs in your music, then you're not really going to find that with, with Fu Manchu. But if you want a, a solid, consistent sound throughout the whole album, then you know, you could go for like, let's say ACDC or Fu Manchu. I actually recommend these guys because I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I listened to this album, Daredevil by Fumanchu, fucking hell, let's try that again. Um, I listened to this album by Fumanchu, I don't know, uh, and I thought it was pretty great. I, I think it's really enjoyable, um, yeah, I, I think the production is pretty solid. It's not like really annoying, like heavy psych, like let's say, you know, a band like Elder or something, or uh, Electric Wizard, which... You know, people people love Electric Wizard, I know that, but I can't really get into that band because it's, like, I hate heavy psych, like, um, how do you say that? Uh, it's essentially like stoner or psychedelic rock music, but heavy psych is a lot of, like, noise or a lot of just, like, background shit, you know, just in the background. I don't know how I can explain heavy psych, but it sounds like fucking shit. But... Luckily, this band is stoner rock, but they aren't heavy psych, so they don't annoy me, you know, with their heavy psych sound, their non-existent heavy psych sound, like, you know, an Elder does, or an Electric Wizard does, which are, you know, mind you, they are good bands, but I'm not a fan of those bands because of the heavy psych element, but luckily this band doesn't have that Fu Manchu, there you go, let's go with that. Like, it's Manchu. There you go. Like, a man is sneezing. Manchu. <laughs> fucking hell. That's actually a good uh, fucking memory bridge, or however you want to say that. Fu Manchu. There you go. I'm not going to say that again. Um, so, let's pronounce these titles for a bit. Trapeze Freak was a pretty stellar opening track. You know, just... Um, it kind of sets the whole tone for the whole album, which, you know, it's pretty consistent and pretty one note throughout, which is not a bad thing per se, but it is a thing. Uh, Tilt was a really kick-ass song, really, um, you know, really kicked the door open and really ran, uh, ran with it, really ran with the ball. Uh, three minutes long, it's, yeah, it's the shortest song besides one of the other songs on there, so it's the second shortest song of the album. Really a stellar track right there, really uh, addictive. Uh, gathering speeds, just a fast, ferocious, just a fucking speedy ass fucking driving song, I would say. This is what... How is this fucking song called again? Um, how is this fucking gay ass fucking Queens of the Stone song called again? Um, oh my god, uh, you know what I mean. 
go with the flow. Like, this is what go with the flow wants to be. And I mean, granted, this came out seven years before Songs for the Deaf, so Queens of the Stone was definitely influenced by Fu Manchu, without a fucking doubt. Or, you know, maybe they were influenced by themselves, Kai, but Kai is fucking sucks, so there you go. And this band is way fucking better, just listen to Fu Manchu. So, um, then we get Coyote Duster, this song is fucking awesome. Um, that title, Coyote Duster, Coyote Duster, fucking hell, don't buy me Trent. Coyote Duster, there you go, fucking awesome title. Doesn't waste any time, it's uh, the shortest track of the album. It just like kicks you square in the nuts and just fucking goes for it. Uh, the riffs are super addictive, super catchy. Uh, just a really fun song, just a fucking kick, just just a fucking kick of adrenaline, I would say. Just a fucking kick-ass tune. Uh, now we got Travel Agent, um, not a lot to say here. I'm just going quick, quickly to the, to, to the fucking song because I don't have a lot of time. Travel Agent, uh, good, enjoyable, um, kind of a bit too long-winded, I would say, because it, it just kind of sounds like everything else and it is four minutes long. So I would say that the shorter the songs are on this album, the better they are because you know, every song sounds the same, so you don't really have to have a four or five minute long song because you know you, you know what you're in for, so you might as well end it a bit quick, you know. And granted, it is a great sound, it is a great sound on the song, so why you know, why cut it short because you don't want to sound redundant, which this band is kind of guilty of, but I uh, digress. So, uh, travel agent, enjoyable song, but a bit too long winded, uh, sleeve stack. Uh, yeah, I was definitely kind of sleeping on this track, I didn't really remember that much to be honest, kind of like, you know, it, it definitely kind of felt more on the filler side, but granted it was still a solo song, but not really um, amazing or something, just like kind of filler-ish, I would say. Then we got Space Farm, awesome song, this is arguably the epic of the album, and I do say that, you know, um, this band should keep it shorter, because um, it all sounds the same, so you might as well do it a bit quick. But this is actually kind of their epic of the album because this is five and a half minutes, uh, five and a half minutes long, five and a half minutes of bliss. Um, really incredible tune. Kind of grabs a little bit of psychedelic elements in there. Kind of like you know, it has a bit of um, how would you say that? Uh, some very nice kind of slow pieces and some. You know, some epic parts, some psychedelic bits in there. It has kind of a little bit of everything, so this is arguably the best song of the album, but I still probably prefer Coyote Duster because it's just such a fucking kicker. Just such a fucking uh, killer tune. Uh, Look is the next track, and these next couple of tracks are really, really uh, kick ass. Uh, Look is just. Uh, pretty straightforward, but just a lot of fun, just a lot of like straightforwardness, kind of like Till, but it just improves upon the track in every single way. So this is essentially the first two tracks again, but just way better executed. And Igor is arguably the best sounding song on the album, just an incredible uh, soup of sounds right there, just uh, incredible, incredible mix. Uh, the riffs are fucking great, really stellar riffs. Um, yeah, just fantastic. Just a really consistent driving, just a really uh, catchy track. It's so catchy. It's such a fun song. Highly recommend it. Now we get Working, which was um, a bit more, I would say, one note, one note. Uh, a bit more uh, derivative, a bit more fitter ish in a way. So it kind of feels in the same way as a Slee Stack. You know, I'm kind of sleeping on this track, so it's not bad, but it's just kind of like. Eh, I, I don't mind it, but it's uh, yeah, it doesn't really like it doesn't really do anything else uh, because you know you had those other two tracks which were incredible, and then you have this track, and I'm kind of like whatever. And push button magic, push button magic was kind of like the ender, but it didn't really feel like an ending. It just felt like a, a solid kind of leftover track in a way. Not a lot to say. That's almost five minutes long, and you already had the five and a half minute song space farm. So. Push Button Magic does feel unnecessary, but it's not like awful uh, to put it on the worst list but, or to, to put it on least favorite, but it's not like great to put it on the favorite list. So overall, Daredevil by Fumanchu uh, Manch might be my favorite uh, stoner rock album if you don't count Black Sabbath. So I'm giving this album an 8.9 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. Check it out if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.